Hey y'all, so we're going to pick up today where we left off yesterday, and this whole Deuteronomy chapter 6 is just, it's a well, it's a well. So, Moses is giving the Israelites instructions, and of course we read in the first six verses, listen to my words, he says, do the things that I tell you to do. He says, and these words which I'm commanding you, so these are the words of God, the instructions, on this day shall be first in your own minds and hearts, and then you shall whet and sharpen them so as to make them penetrate and teach and impress them diligently upon the minds and hearts of your children, and shall talk of them when you sit in your house, and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise up. And you shall bind them as a sign upon your hand, and they shall be as frontlets, forehead bands between your eyes. And you shall write them upon the doorpost of your house and on your gates. Oh, does that sound familiar? <laughs> and when the Lord your God brings you into the land which he swore to your fathers, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give you with great and goodly cities which you did not build, and houses full of all good things which you did not fill, and cisterns hewn out which you did not hew, and vineyards and olive trees which you did not plant. And when you eat and are full, then beware lest you forget the Lord who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You shall reverently fear the Lord your God and serve him and swear by his name and presence. You shall not go after other gods, any of the gods of the peoples who are around about you. For the Lord your God is in the midst of you. He is a jealous God. Lest the anger of the Lord your God be kindled against you and he destroy you from the face of the earth. You shall not tempt and try the Lord as you tempted and tried him in Massa. You shall diligently keep the commandments of the Lord your God and his exhortations and his statutes which he commanded you. And you shall do what is right and good in the sight of the Lord, that it may go well with you, and that you may go in and possess the good land which the Lord swore to give to your fathers, to cast out all of your enemies from before you as the Lord has promised. And when your son asks in time to come, what is the meaning of the testimony and the statutes and the precepts which the Lord our God has commanded you? Then you shall say to your son, We were Pharaoh's bondmen in Egypt, and the Lord brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand. And the Lord showed us signs and wonders, great and evil against Egypt, against Pharaoh's, and all his household before our eyes. And he brought us out from there, that he might bring us in to give us the land which he swore to give, to our fathers. And the Lord commanded us to do all these statutes, to reverently fear the Lord our God, for our good always, that he might preserve us alive as it is this day. And it will be accounted to us as righteousness, conformity to God's will in word, thought, and action for us if we are watchful to do all this commandment before the Lord our God which he has commanded us. Teach our children, those in our household. The Lord says, first, <laughs> first, these words which I'm commanding you this day shall be first in your own minds and hearts. So if we are to be who and what our children need us to be, then the first thing in our hearts and minds must be the Word of God. It must be His commands. It must be His teachings and precepts and instructions. This sounds like Psalm 1. <laughs> That's first. We have to get it in ourselves first. You know, there's absolutely no way that we can expect our children to be followers of Jesus and to do right 
if we are not living that example, if we're not showing them what to do, if it's not first in our own heart and mind, but then it is not going to be first in theirs. That's our, our first responsibility is to get his words, get his commands in us. We'll pick up it tomorrow. I'll see you then. Bye, y'all.